So good morning, everyone. Um, I am, well, I say I'm more human. I am slightly more human today than I have been in a while. Um, I was, I've just been in a lot of pain and I've not been sleeping properly and I've been busy. And yesterday really annoyed me because it was like the biggest waste of a day I've had in a while. Um, and what I mean by that is I was like, really really tired and instead of just giving in having an hour or two nap and then feeling a little bit more alive and getting stuff done I kind of fought against having a nap but I was just so tired and so incapable of doing things that I didn't really get anything done so I would have been much better off losing an hour or two by sleeping but gaining by having that nap and being able to do stuff so anyway um yeah and I've been like uh, I've found it hard to think and talk and do these videos because I've just been so tired and I just haven't been able to think and yeah she's not being good there's a little puppers there's a little puppers so they are ready <coughs> for Breakfast number two. That's Pod and Lion Dudley. Nala is on her way out of season now, thank the Lord. Um, and that's been extra stress as well, because, you know, you've got to know 100% where at least one, if not two, are at all times. Um, which isn't as easy as you may think. Um, look at little man. He's so pretty. He reminds me of Nala as a puppy, actually. <laughs> At this sort of age. Um, yeah, so these guys didn't have the biggest of first breakfasts, so they're gonna have a little bit bigger brunch. Um, I just got back from the field with all of the dogs, including Raven and Pumpkin. And they loved it and they were a lot more confident um but i have got plans to go for a walk in a bit with some of the dogs i haven't quite decided what combo certainly aria pod nala because they got a show i think on sunday and um yeah i just want them to walk maybe jude because dad's is still on is um looking after the house duty. He's the guard dog, isn't he, guys? He's your guard dog. He's your bodyguard. Miss Green just sleeping. And Princess Leia. Look how much more awake and pretty you guys are getting now. You've got a cowlick down your nose, too. I know. I think Mr. Black has got it. Has he got a cow's lick? Yeah. So the cow's lick. See the line down the middle of their nose? Raven's got it too. I don't think we've ever had puppies with cow's lick before till Raven. And now we got two in this litter. <laughs> Look how much better on their feet they're getting. Oh, Miss Purple's going for a wander, so I haven't shut the back <coughs> doors now and put the black bag that's full of used puppy pads. And that's the used vet bed. It's going to go in the wash. So yeah, like yesterday, oh my god, I got the bare minimum done. It was really annoying. Hey, you play fighting. You play fighting. You guys play fighting. Oh, it's yes. 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 <laughs> She's just snuggled up this green ass. <laughs> So I'm going to go and dig out a couple of more new toys for them because they, as you can see, started to interact with toys now. Um, might recycle some of the washed ones from the last litter. But I did buy like a collection for this litter. And you guys all saw the toys the last litter had. So, uh, yeah, I've got to figure that out. Princess Leia's spots around her eyes. It's not like full on eyeliner. It's 
So they're all looking. That's a good sign you can all hear. You go. You want to come after you, Miss Purple? Come on in. Oh, great. You could have just gone to them, eh? No, that's brand new, fresh vet bed. Been down like five minutes. And you pee on it. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Fun derby -tastic. Um, Yeah, so the other thing I got to catch up on is YouTube comments. Um, basically, I'm reading them all and I'm just not getting around to replying to them all. So hopefully at some point today, I'm going to sit down and reply to them. Well, reply to the ones they need replying to and just, yeah, I usually like or love the comments made by people as long as they're sensible ones and I reply to the ones they need replying to. But I am reading them, I promise. I'm just not, like, like I said, yesterday was a stupid waste of a day where I did absolute bare minimum I could and I didn't get anything really achieved, which was just plain annoying. Plain, plain, plain annoying. Um, I'm like a snuggle of girls on my lap. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I normally have a bit of burnout after a litter, and uh, I I'd recovered from Disney's litter pretty well, and then Jude's litter, and Jude's litter. Oh my god, right? They were the noisiest litter I've ever had. As in, when they were awake, they wanted out and they were going to shout at you until you let them out. Um, and it's really tough because part of you thinks, right, like just let them out because the noise is unreal and all the rest of it. But then I don't want to create the habit of them shouting and demanding attention and then them going to their new homes and doing the same thing. Um, so it's just bad habits and you know they have got to learn to be independent of humans like I'm in this room now with the puppies, these puppies and Nala and you know Pumpkin and Raven are in the other room with the other dogs without me. They've got to learn to be independent and so it was like a real mixture of that um and then obviously this litter arrived um and usually by the end of a litter my wrist starts to get bad and everything like that i will turn the heat lamp back on in a minute um and then i don't sleep properly because i'm in pain and then you never sleep as well on the sofa as you do in your own bed. And then I was like on the sofa for like three weeks. I know Tegan did some nights for me, but it, it just, oh, it just was hard. And then you get burnt out at the end of a litter anyway. And then I haven't been able to just recover as such from Jude's litter, because one, I've got two puppies from that litter, but two, I got this lot. Um, so, right. I never want to whinge on this lit on YouTube videos. I feel like I'm whinging. But yeah, I've got cute puppies. And you get to cuddle with puppies. So, you know, it's a hard job. And until you've bred a litter, and, you know, a big litter, big litter sizes, you do not know what it's like. It's hard. And... You know, we never, we didn't go into it re quite realising how hard it is or was. Um, and then, yeah, we realised um, just how tough it can be. That's my belly rumbling because I haven't had time for breakfast either. 
um so yeah timing wise it just worked out better for the dogs to do jude and lily in overlapping but i knew it was going to be hard and then it's really hard really really hard um but the good thing is like these guys are getting more um, independence the bad word but you can quite comfortably leave them an hour two hours in the day while you do other things and you know they're okay um whereas like when they first born and little you can't leave them for that sort of length of time And I think I've I think I made a mistake on YouTube. Videos. I think they twenty I put one video and they were like eighteen days old and I think they're twenty. I'll see, I yeah, I gotta go and edit that. <laughs> Oops. Because they were twenty one days old yesterday, weren't they? Because they were three weeks old. Jeepers. Oh. You wouldn't think I did A level maths, would you? I can't even multiply seven these days. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um, and then with the Facebook Lives, I will start them up again. But I'll probably start them up again. Like, in another couple of weeks. When these guys... Are more... Active. Um, and a bit more fun. Because right now, this is kind of them, you know, that little bit of activity they had is them done now. So I'll do, I'll still do the odd one while they're this sort of age. But the daily ones that I started with Jude's litter, I started them a lot when they were a lot older than this. Um... But yeah, the... Keeping everything up to date is a lot, um, as well as now I've got two puppies to work on training, work on socialising, and like socialising is such a big word, but, and people automatically think, introduce them to dogs and people and other animals and ask them to socialise. For me, socialising is socialising them to your living situation, like learning how to live in my house, learning how to live in outside with the and interact with the other animals and how to interact with the other animals, um, tolerating people, tolerating other dogs. The, it's all part of their learning to live in this world. And yeah, it's a lot of work. So right, I'm gonna give these guys their brunch. And I shall see you all soon. Bye.